What's up everybody, my name is Zach and today I want to unbox this new Asus monitor I got which is the PG279QZ. It's 1440p, uh, G-Sync capable, 27 inches. It's an IPS panel. It's got about a 4 millisecond response time which is about the lowest you can get for an IPS panel. And it has 165 hertz which is a little bit higher than 144 hertz. Especially at 1440p, that's really good. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so here we go. It's an ASUS ROG Swift monitor, PG279QZ. Now, they've also had a 279Q before, and I believe with this Z model, the 2019 model, they have worked on the backlight bleeding a lot better for this monitor. I think it should be a whole lot better. I've looked at some videos on it where some people said it is better. And also, I think this monitor, 1440p, can deliver through an HDMI cable 60 frames per second where before it was only 1080p that could do 60 frames per second so i believe that is the two differences in the z model of the 279q so this should be the better model um the newest model they have and let's let's jump into it so i think we can open it right here there we go nice stiff box i do want to say that this box came shipped to me in a larger box and this was inside, which is kind of like Asus, you know, shipping box, I guess, from their company. But it was nice that it was already in a, in a larger box too, so this box didn't get tore up. So right here we got your user manual, probably your warranty guide. This is a little quick setup. Shows you how to uh, put it together, put the base on it, I assume. Probably pretty simple. I, I've read online that it, it's, there's no setup to it at all. It pretty much comes ready to go right out of the box. Just put your base on it, so. Gonna have your power cable right here. Also got a display cable, display port. Got the power brick from Asus right here, which is actually, packaged really nice. It's almost like an Apple product right there. So these two will be going together to power this monitor up. Pretty good size little brick there too. Also have like a USB to Firewire or something like this. I don't even know what that cable's for. Probably something I'm not gonna use, but I'll figure out what it is. <laughs> now to open this up, pull this out. Now to pull the monitor out. Oh, it looks like the, the, the base is already connected. So I can pull this out. Get rid of the box. And that's what it looks like. So we got this sleeve around the base right here. Take that off. This is really good quality. Uh, packaging too feels really nice Pick this up Pull it. Okay. stand it up on its base here now this monitor has height adjustment it has tilt it pans I believe pretty much all directions <laughs> pretty good little distance all the way from there all the way to the other side and it also has Ability to rotate so if you want like a couple of these monitors in you know vertical positions you can use that line them up which I think would be really cool but you just have to buy pretty much three monitors to get some good you know screen real estate some space on the screen and what I like about this is when you turn your monitor up you got access to your ports on the side so that's how I like to hook my cables up and you don't have to try to get behind the computer monitor for crazy reasons <laughs> So there it is. I also want to say this base is really heavy and I don't have to hold it down. I can I can do all this without the monitor moving at all or coming off the ground or tipping like that. So that's a really cool feature and really nice to have in something that costs so much. You don't want to you don't want to be have it falling over all the time. Okay, now checking out the ports on it. It has a display port, it has an HDMI port, it has two USB ports. That's really nice to have. You can charge like your phone or you know have a headset plugged into there or whatever so that's that's really a cool feature right there having two of them also over here you got a headphone jack and you've got your power input really simple and i like how it's laid out you, you have some room to, to work around over here your power's over here it's not in the way and all your you know input cables are over here that's pretty neat now this monitor is 27 inches it's 1440p it can do all the way up to 165 hertz um, it's G-Sync capable. This is pretty much the flagship monitor from Asus, this IPS panel. Now over here in the bottom corner, you've got a joystick for your on-screen menus and you've got four dedicated buttons to use. I like how it's on the edge of the screen too, so you can reach around one side and mess with it. 
and it sh all these buttons should show up on screen to where you know what you're pushing. And just so y'all can see, I'm gonna hold this up. Your joystick and all your buttons are right here on this end, and there's also some um, some stamped little logos here of what they do. You probably got your menu, your cancel or back button. This is probably your um, your own screen uh, crosshairs you can enable. This looks like a timer and your power button. So all those are labeled, so they're not even on screen. They're they're pretty much hard print right here. Joystick being on the top. Here is the back side of the monitor. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to roll some B-roll shots of this just to show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so there is your unboxing video of the PG279QZ. I'm gonna do a full review on this also, so if you'd like to check back to my channel in the future uh, and look for that, that'd be great. Um, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, anything you wanna do. It, uh, it really made me happy, so. If you don't have a monitor for gaming, you need to pick, pick one up. They're, they're, they're unbeatable. See y'all in the next video.